happy Easter. It is Sunday. I'm getting ready for church right now, drinking my coffee. And I'm going to talk about the coffee later on in the vlog, but I'm drinking this. And what else? I am kind of in a hurry, but I want to talk about a bronzer that I recently purchased. This is by Dior. It is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze Bronzer. So I figured why not try this on camera? So that's what we're going to do. So it came in this box here. Fock leather packaging, logo, and plastic in the back. And I have the shade 5. Really beautiful. This is how it looks on the inside. So just want to read a little bit about this really fast. It's supposed to be long wearing, healthy looking summer color. In a single step, the powder recreates the sun caress for an even complexion that radiates with natural looking subtle bronze in every circumstance. I'm gonna go ahead and use my refer brush number five and dip into this. So pretty. I'm just gonna go in lightly and it has a mirror here as well, so. So I'm just going in pretty lightly. It's quite powdery. But as you can see, it's not an orange bronzer, but it's a nice bronzer shade, but just a perfect bronze shade. And it's building up really nicely. I was afraid to, I was afraid that the shade might not work for me, that it would be too deep, but it's working perfectly. But I really like the shade, it's really pretty. It is a subtle bronzer and it's buildable. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a swatch. It feels like, I think it's, it is a matte. It's a matte bronzer. This bronzer definitely makes a big difference. First, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm about to head out for church. I just want to show you what I got on. I got this dress that I got from the Goodwill. Um, the back's open, so I wore a denim jacket, which I got from the Goodwill as well. Both of these, the dress and the denim jacket, was under $10. And I got these earrings from TJ Maxx, under $10. So here it is. This is the dress. All right, guys, I'm back from church. Service was lovely, and I wanted to come on and talk a little bit more about, like, spring dresses. I said that I got this dress from the Goodwill and mentioned that I got this denim jacket from the Goodwill as well, but I actually got it under $20, and this dress was under $10, so I want to make that correction. I want to show you some TJ Maxx dresses that I picked up over this past month that were under $20. I'm gonna try on a couple of them and the others I'm just gonna show you. So this first dress I have on, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but it's like this neon pink dress. It's, it's flowy, it's loose at the bottom, um, and it also has a drawstring. I enjoy wearing drawstring dresses. Here it is, really flowy and girly. It's a little, it is definitely a little loud, but I like that it's floral, it's perfect for spring and summer because how loud the color is. It's picking up a little different on camera, but I like it. The thing about me is in the spring and summer, I always carry a denim jacket because when I go to places, the air conditioning is like blasting and I get cold. So I always carry a denim jacket with me. So. I decided to put the denim jacket on so you can see how I look with this dress. All right, so the next dress I got from TJ Maxx for $9.99 and it's a Zara dress. So it's off the shoulder, floral of course, it has blue, red, just these beautiful different colors. It's nice and flowy, really thin. And it's long. It comes up to my, above my ankle actually. So it's nice and flowy. It goes with the earrings that I have on right now. 
So yeah, this dress was $9.99. When you shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you can occasionally find things from like Banana Republic, Zara. Let's see. Uh, sometimes you can find things from Express. This is definitely my type of dress. Loose, comfortable, and thin, but very, you know, girly and stylish. I love that it's off the shoulder. So a recent dress that I bought from TJ Maxx, like maybe a few days ago, um, this was $14.99. It is floral, of course, but not an extreme amount of floral, just a perfect amount. I'm trying to fix it so you can see it, get the whole effect here. So it was $14.99, probably could still find it at TJ Maxx. This is the dress on, it's a beautiful watermelon color. You see the little peekable area, but because this part where you have to tie it, hangs down you can't really see it too much but here is the dress cute and flowy and comfortable here's how the dress looks with a denim jacket it has a little split in the front and it goes above the ankle all right and the last floral dress that i have is a high-low dress i love high-low dresses it's like one of my favorite dresses to wear again drawstring so this is it looks like it's black or off black and it has these pretty mauvey tone flowers it's a really really a flowy pretty dress so this is how the prints look the floral looks up close those above the knee in the back it just flares out nice salon so the lighting is a little off, but I want to let you know that these two dresses, I have currently seen these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls maybe a few days ago, about a week ago. Um, the Zara and the other floral dress I seen randomly in certain areas in the store. But the point is, when you go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you can definitely find some nice spring dresses that are under $20 to tell you the brand of the dresses so this pink dress is by Trixie and company Trixie watermelon one is by Mimi Chica this dress here is by Love Tree those are pretty much all the dresses that I want to show you um for my makeup I want to show you the palette that I use today which is perfect for today if you guys remember this it is the Too Faced Enchanted Forest palette with the little little bunny look how cute this palette is it's so adorable such a cute palette palette on the inside i used what did i use today i used this shade no i used this shade here this on the lower lash line um use a bit of this shade and mixed it in with this shade and yeah and i use this blush and highlighter today. all right guys so it is five o'clock and you know what time it is five o'clock cup of coffee time so today i'm trying trader joe's well i've tried it before it's the trader joe's instant cold brew coffee i'm going to show you how i make it it's really good if you like cold brew um it kind of prevents me from buying cold brew iced coffee it's really good so it makes me not go to starbucks as much so i'm going to show you how i make it i kind of just wing it put some water in a cup i don't have that store that everyone uses from amazon i've been drinking this coffee enough to know how much to put in it might be a lot to some people but I like a lot of coffee. I like I like my coffee strong. So I just go ahead and mix it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my ice to it. And then my favorite creamer, which really makes this good, this makes any iced coffee good, is the Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer. I have the flavor caramel which is really good it's one of my favorites and it's always hard to find at target so i try to stock up on these get a little mess that is the iced coffee this is really good you guys should definitely give it a try if you're looking for a good almond milk creamer recommendation definitely try natural bliss all right guys so right now it's like around eight o'clock and 
I'm looking a little tired right now. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. But it's 8 o'clock and I have some candles that I wanted to share with you that I got from like Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I don't know if you guys knew, but today they had like a 40% off sale at Bath and Body Works. I didn't get anything, although I really wanted to. I really want to get the it's the strawberry pound cake fragrance and the lotion and candles so bad. It smells so good. Quick story. Um, I have a coworker that I just she always smells good and I know she's wearing strawberry pound cake because she t she tells me all the time and she could be in a room and I could be walking towards that room and before I see her I smell strawberry pound cake I'm just like obsessed with that scent I kind of really want to just go in store I know when you go into Bath and Bodies they usually have like a buy two get two free so I think I kind of just want to do that but I really need that fragrance. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump into the candles that I have. The first candle that I have here is by Sensational and I got this at Marshall's for $7.99. Now this is a two wick candle. Usually I like um, three wick candles. For some reason, the first time I lit this candle and used it, I thought it was okay. It's just, it's more of like a fruity scent. Um, but the second time I used it, I felt like it was a little bit stronger. So I'm not sure what that is, but it is a soft scent when you initially use this candle. But I like the packaging. It says he is risen. Really pretty. All right, so this candle that I have is called Rising Summit. And this is by Everyday Lux, my favorite candle brand um, from TJ Maxx. It kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works. So every time I see Everyday Lux, I'm always purchasing it. Now this is a three wick candle and I want to say when I smell this candle, it's slightly sweet but refreshing at the same time. I really enjoy this candle. I just like most of the candles that this brand comes out with. All right, the next two candles I have not tried, but I am really excited to for spring and summer. This is by Scent Gallery Candles, three wick. And it is Summer Spirit Soil Blend Candle. I would definitely say the name Summer Spirit is perfect to describe this candle. It is, it is extremely refreshing. It reminds me of a nice summer day um, you're at the beach. It definitely smells refreshing and it has like this tropical scent to it. So I cannot wait to use this. I have a, I have a feeling it's going to be a good one and it will last me for a while. The next candle is by Sand and Fog, inspired on the Californian coast, and it's called Limoncello. And this was $14.99. Look how large this candle is. It's totally worth $14.99. And this is just like a sweet and zesty candle. That's what I get when I smell this, it's zesty and just sweet. I cannot wait to use this. They had this still at Marshall's and TJ Maxx. And I'm not sure if they have the Summer Spirit one, but I saw a lot of these. This is pretty much the candles that I have been collecting at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. All right, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here, and I'll probably post it the day after Easter. So I hope you guys had a great Easter. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.